So this is the dynamic sunlight fuel rate, okay? Ninety percent percent is absorbed and excreted in the lumen. Only ten percent of it, which is absorbed in the lumen, lacks as a luminal amine side. Next, coming to the drug, nitro zoxanide. Okay, we just we are speaking in the uh, now. This is the drug. Now the pharma pharma companies are tapping it. That means to increase the just to. This is a good drug. Okay, this is a good drug, but still now not so commonly used. Now, till it is brought under the drug price control, they will use this drug. Okay, so nitro zox anide. Okay, so it is a, a similar drug compared to the metabolite. Okay, here is a uh, metabolite, the active metabolite, tizox anide. Okay, it can inhibit the POPR enzyme. So once POPR enzyme is inhibited, you know there is increase in the free radical and free radical free radical mediated injury. Okay. <coughs> it is a anti-helminthic nigrosamide. Okay, it reduces for the treatment of giardiasis, cryptosporidiasis, entamoebasturitica, and trichomonas vaginalis and H. nana. H. nana, have you heard of it? Not only in parasitology, not in starter. Okay, so H. nana is a drug. With uh, typical um, form, uh, microscopic feature like a cap, uh, oval in, inserted in the circle, and it causes perianal itching. Okay, so it is uh, known to cause uh, recurrent infection. Okay, catch nana, remember? Perianal itching it will cause. Then this nitrous oxide is a prodrug which is absorbed and converted to tisoxonide, which can inhibit the pure enzyme. And the electron transport chain, everything is blocked. Up. So, nitrous oxide is most of the few drug for cryptosporin pathway, which causes diarrhea in gay species and also in children. So, cryptosporin pathway, it is a reserved, it was a reserved drug till now, now started to be used regularly. So, 8 and uh, hydroxyphenolin, okay, halogenated 8 hydroxyphenolin, iodophenol. So, iodo means adding containing the unit to the the adverse effect associated with this adding containing drugs. Can you name some? The adverse effects caused by adding compound containing compounds which when used. between the raw materials which you are getting. Okay. Even if one raw material is excess, one raw material is not there, you are getting this by Okay. So, iodism, okay, in a similar way, last class we have learnt about synchronism with phenyl. Remember what is it? Vestibular apparatus. Okay. So, you need to remember what can happen if vestibular apparatus is affected. Here we have iodism, okay, iodism is in the form of infections, okay, paraculosis, inflammation of the mucous membrane on 
chronic cardiac volume. Okay, so repeated high doses can cause neuropathy syndrome that is subacute minor optic neuropathy. And sensitive people can develop this angioedema, cutaneous hemorrhages, and all. And it's contraindicated in optic neuropathy, renal disease, thyroid disease, and non anemic hepatic disease in the form of alcoholic liver diseases. <coughs> Pyromycin, we told it is an amino glycoside antibiotic that is a drug which can be given by parenteral group. So, not significantly absorbed from the GIP, but still it is a luminal immunity Okay, The drug, even though given by systemic group or the parenteral group, it get, it should be acting as a luminal immunity site. Okay. You will get a question sometimes in the exams. What are the drugs which are acting by non-receptor mediated action? What are the drugs which are not absorbed but still have their action? Okay. So one of them will be dioxanide curoid, one more will be gentamicin for urinary tract infection. Okay. And some other drugs will be the antacids. Okay. All these drugs you need to remove. So, like the uh, of we told. So, these are some drugs with peculiar mechanisms. Okay. You need to remove them. So, paramomycin is acting as a luminal amoebicide. That means it should be separated into the lumen for its action in the form of secretions. Okay. So, the drug accumulates in renal tissue and can cause toxicity. It is comparatively better than dioxane and pure in visceral leishmaniasis. Dilution and curate only 10 percent is available. The best point is there. The drug is relatively cheaper. So adverse effects may be in the form of abdominal distress, diarrhea, all these things. Coming to the next group of drugs which can be used for diarrheas. Okay. So the agent is diarrhea lambia. Leaves are the normal comments are in the intestine, and this infection is more common in case of immunosuppressive diseases. So here we have metronidazole, metadoxonide, lepatrine, pinoclor and the one newer drug is furazolidum. Okay, furazolidum, we will be learning about it. Okay. So drugs for GI disease, remember metronidazole, metadoxonide, one, uh, pinoclor is there, then lepatrine and furazolidum. Drugs for Trichomoniasis, okay, it is the most common agent which can cause vulvovaginitis. Okay, remember the terms here, trichomoniasis, because the next slide will be on trypanosomiasis. Okay, so trichomoniasis, which is causing vulvovaginitis, the common drugs here is metronidazole, polynomial three times daily for seven days. Okay, most commonly in case of white discharge poison or the, any vulvovaginal uh, infection, they give this metronidazole for 15 days, 3 times daily, except in pregnancy or first trimester, which is the most common drug which is given. <coughs> Nowadays, we have uh, the vaginal uh, tablets, okay, in the form of uh, this uh, ornidazole, secnidazole, okay, ornidazole, secnidazole with clindamide, or one among them, one with clindamide, okay. So this will be the most common drugs. Yes. We are not Mahajan, no? What's your name? What's your name? Yeah? Nishad Mahajan. Yes. Okay. So drugs. Here, which are given intravaginally, I was speaking. Okay, so three days overnight they will be given. Okay, that will be effective. So, drugs for trypanosomiasis. Okay, we have African sleeping sickness and American trypanosomiasis. Okay, African is by Lucy and American is Lucy. Okay, so the drugs here are Suramin, Pentamidine, Melasopra, and Ethylor Okay, so American we have this nicotine moss at Benz Midazol. Okay, so we will be learning the popular drugs, Pentamide and Melasopra. So then we have the drugs which can cause leishmaniasis or Kala Azar. Okay. So
So, this is the intention of the visitor, which may be described in color as Pala Raza. Okay. So, the drugs here are called as antimonials. Okay, remember, the drugs for which may be described in as antimonials. We have sodium stibocrypolate, magnum wine, antimonate, then diabetes, we have pentamidine and the common drugs which might be a we might already have come across that is amphotericin, ketoconazole, allopurinol and multiposin is a new drug. So it occurs in the subtropical regions of the world transmitted by the bite of female sand fly ketoconus. So sodium stribomicronate is the drug of choice for colors and mechanism is inhibition of the SH group containing dependent enzyme, okay, blocks the glycolytic and the fatty oxidation, oxidation pathway, okay. So remember, we you know we have uh, only blocked the glucose pathways or the pyrrhate pathways and all. Now we have a drug which can block this fatty acid oxidation pathway. So one more drug is there, I will be asking this drug when I come to that drug. Okay, so drug of choice for Kalaraza, inhibition of the SH group dependent enzymes. Then the adverse effects are in the form of nausea, vomiting, metallic taste, all these things. So diamide, pentamide, okay, remember P for pancreatitis, okay, and also here we have a diamide, D for the drugs can act on DNA. Okay, you can remember by your own methods and pentamide is a parameter group. Okay. So aromatic diamide is a parameter given drug which can act on the DNA, DNA tetraplast and inhibit the topo isomerase 2. So do you remember topo isomerase 2, topo isomerase 4 inhibited by fluoroquinolones. Okay, fluoroquinolones. What do you call it? DNA guidelines drugs which can unwind the DNA. Okay. So it acts with the chemicalblast, inhibits topoisomerase 2, not effective in serious infection. So for serious patient, we need a melasopra. We will be learning that drug. Okay, so the drug is given used for hemocystis colony. So hemocystis colony common in HIV affected people which can cause the infection. Okay. So, African trypanosomiasis and leishmaniasis. Then, the demerits here are, we told that it can cause this pancreatitis, okay? Which you can cause cytolysis of this pancreatic cells and cause pancreatitis. Toxicity, it can, it can be in the form of sharp polymerity, cardiovascular collapse, kidney and liver damage, and myelosuppression. It can also cause arrhythmias. Okay, so adverse effects, 
Computing shop, attic area, protein area, and temple studio. So, in the last class, in the first first slide, in the anti molecular drugs, we told that the most of these anti protozoal drugs are toxic, relatively more toxic than the previous ones. So, that's why we get all sorts of adverse reactions, cardiac toxicity, you have seen, kidney damage, you have seen, all these things. Okay. So, attic area, protein area, and temple studio. So, Melasopra, so by this time you got to know it's a drug which can be used for CNS infections and is reserved for treating meningoencephalitic stage of optic and trypanosomiasis. Remember, M for meningitis, okay, Melasopra for meningitis, mainly using the treatment of trypanosomal infection with CNS involvement. So, again, here the drug is acting by the SH group of the protozoal enzymes and the proteins thereby adding the cellular structure and maintaining their function. So adverse effects as this drug needed to be administered systemically, okay, so reactive encephalitis, cerebral edema, seizures, peripheral neuropathy, all these things are there. So coming to the next drug, the amphotericin <coughs> or the amphotericin B. So amphotericin B, can anyone remember the mechanism? Yes, last lectures. How about the single mechanism? Adverse drug reactions, hypersensitivity, diaphragmatic, all these 